Here you Solari check! Then make you mad. here and fight. Oh! <laughs> 
That's my kage. Hmm? Oh, you deserve the best of all. What happened? Bandits, my lord. They took my food. <laughs> Every last scrap. Do you see where they went? Northeast, into the woods. If I find them, they'll regret stealing from you. Please don't harm them. They're just as desperate as I am. No promises.
I just heard something. Rice. Must be the food they stole. My lord, you're back. I have your food. Rice. I don't remember the last time I had rice. You said they stole it from you. Please, for forgive me. You lied to me. Bandits don't deserve food at a time like this, my lord. Besides, I ask you not to hurt them. They gave me no choice. Oh, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have lied. I still would have helped you. I won't do it again. I promise. If I pack the Mongols' black powder into a clay pot, I can set it aflame and throw it as a weapon. I wonder if Sensei Ishikawa survived the invasion.
Send your best warrior. It was saved by the lake, but they were wrong. Mongols are camped under the Stone Arch Road. I didn't see them until it was too late. A good place to ambush travelers, but not for much longer. There are so many of them. Please be careful, my lord. Come <laughs> on. 
Over your corpse. He's getting away. Susano, protect me. Dead bodies. Who killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I'm not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts, Shigenori. The fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima, Shigenori, never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash and bleached the leaves of trees white. 
Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared, and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. the bridge the musician mentioned. Someone weeping. Where? My lord, so many. He's slaughtered. Did you see the man who killed them? I know who he is. Yasuhira Koga. I've heard the name. He fought for the Yarikoa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. Perhaps I can pick up his trail on the other side of the bridge. Horse tracks. Yasuhira was in a hurry. What more do you know of Yasuhira Koga? Only that he was a retainer for the Yarikawa clan years ago. After the rebellion was crushed, the clan was dissolved and retainers dismissed. Rumor says he left Tsushima, but when the Mongols attacked, he returned. From where, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. Up ahead, they're constructing a roadblock. Mongols, hide yourself. Wait for me!
I don't see Yasuhira Koga anywhere. We're pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga. He just left. He's been staying in the watchtower. Working with the Mongols? Yes. But last night they argued. Only made out one word. Chigenori. I'll search the watchtower. Find somewhere safe before more Mongols come. What has Yasuhira been doing? A dueling ring. He's looking for it. The Mongols have their own version of Shigenori's tale. Maybe he wanted to compare it to the musician's version. White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tale. Yasuhira is looking for someone who can teach him Shigenori's heavenly strike. The white leaves. There are trees like that not far from here. That's where he went. You've helped enough. Get to safety with the others. Thank you, my lord. I hope you punish that monster. Okay, come on! Need to find white-leafed trees. Oh, my lord. This path is dangerous. Dangerous for a samurai, but not a priestess. What are you doing here? My duty, tending the shrines. When the war ends, people will need these Torii gates to mark their path, so they can find the Shinto shrines and pray for the Kami's protection. We could use their protection now. Yes, but the paths are too treacherous. I tried to visit the nearby shrine, Almost fell to my death. Maybe I can reach it. As a boy, I climbed every tree and cliff around my village. If you get there in one piece, pray for our island, and take an Omamori charm for yourself. Wear it close, and the charm will change your fate. And perhaps the fate of our home. Thank you. Follow the Torii gates. They will lead you to shrines all across our island and the Omamori charms that rest there.
Katsuhira must have gathered leaves from here. There it is. White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tail. was a man named Yasuhira with these Mongols. Mm. He wanted to learn the heavenly strike from my grandfather and took him away. Your grandfather's in danger. Where did they go? His old training ground. A dueling ring on the Komatsu coast. Please, save him.
Must be Shigenori's dueling ring. What has Yasuhira been doing? Poor man. Killed by Yasuhira. Blade has seen many jewels. Footprints. Still fresh. Yasuhira Kogo. The butcher of the rebellion. Time hasn't changed you. You were a child when Yarikawa burned, boy. For 15 years, I dreamed of cutting Lord Shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face him. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Let me show you. Waiting, studying, learning.
got it. The heavenly strike couldn't save you. Deserve greater respect than this. I promise I'll use Shigenori's technique to protect Tsushima against all who would harm it.